Prior to killing himself, accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein had been taken off suicide watch and was not as closely monitored as he should have been, according to the New York Times. The paper reports normal procedure requires an inmate to be checked on every 30 minutes. For now, it appears that didn't happen. The union representing the correction officers is pushing back, telling PIX11 it's unfortunate the staff are the ones to get the black eye on this. Two of the MCC correction officers were reportedly working overtime at the time of Epstein's death. One was working a mandatory shift, the other his fifth overtime shift of this week. There are vacant positions at every federal prison in the country. Staff is down tremendously, the union told PIX11. What exactly happened is a question that probes by the FBI as well as the Justice Department are looking to answer. The MCC is known to be one of the most high security prisons. It's where you put terrorists before a terror trial. And so for this to happen raises very significant concerns in my mind. A day prior to his death, documents revealing details of Mr. Epstein's social circle had been unsealed. For years, the multimillionaire has been known to keep high-profile company, including both President Trump and former President Bill Clinton. But it was Mr. Trump who retweeted an unsubstantiated conspiracy theory that suggested Mr. Clinton was somehow responsible for Mr. Epstein's death. Retweeting an unverified claim about Clinton and a user who used the hashtag Clinton body count. I think the president just wants everything to be investigated as you as your reporter just revealed just the day before there was some unsealed information implicating some people very high up.